First of all, I had no idea, but now I've got a whole nother opinion. If you want to know what I'm talking about, keep watching. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I am Sheree. Welcome here on this channel. I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. All things fabulous, that of course being fragrance. If you like any of those things or all of those things, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. If you want to ensure you never miss a video, all you have to do is hit the bell. It's like right down there there it is click that bell all right you guys without further ado let's get started you guys i get super excited talking to you guys and talking about fragrances you guys are like the friends in my head and every time i see you i'm like super excited like oh i have something to tell you i have something to tell you first off if you have any terry mugler or mugler products as far as fragrance, body sprays, candles, lotions, uh, perfumes, ED toilettes, ED perfumes, leave it in the comment section below. I would love to know. About a year ago, it all happened about a year ago. I think it was a year ago, you guys. I kept hearing so much about Alien, Terry Mugler, Muse, all the different ones, right? And you know, if you're not new to the channel, I've been talking about Muse like crazy because I absolutely love it. But before then, I had no idea about this fragrance, this person, the different flankers, all the different, you know, amazing fragrances and perfumes and ED toilettes. Girl, get to it. I had no idea. So, you know, when I don't know about something, I love to find out about it. So I went about doing my research, blah, blah, blah. And out of all of them, Angel, I don't know all of them because there's a ton of flankers. I was so confused. I'm still to this day like, what is that? Alien, ED Toilet, Angel, Standing Star, blah, blah, blah. I know that you can refill the bottles and they're beautiful and everything like that, but I was just like very confused. But I recently visited my local department store. I believe it was Macy's. I don't know if it was Macy's. Macy's, it doesn't matter. They gave me a ton, a ton of samples of all the different ones. And I have been wearing these for about a week, you guys, about a week, like a different one every other day to try and find out about it and to see if there was one that I wanted to share with you. Well, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I did this about a year ago and I came across Alien. Let's start here. Now, I don't have any of the full bottles of these. These are all going to be first impressions, worth the whiff, blah, blah, blah. This is the one that I came across. I know this is not a stranger to a lot of people. Maybe to some it would be, because to me it was. I had no idea what this was, never seen it, nothing. When I first smelled this a year ago, you guys, like, I was like, who would wear this? What is this? I do not like it. I do not like the way it smells. It smells so loud. It's so in your face. Like, what is this? That was my real first impression, real thought. So I got it and I said, you know, let me give it a chance. The lady at the mall gave me all these samples, right? So I said, let me just do a whole alien video and talk about this more in depth, more in detail. Let me go in with an open mind after I fell in love with Muse, remember? So I go in with an open mind. This one here is Alien Mugler ED Perfume. You guys, I've changed my mind. I don't know if my palette has changed. I don't know if I've grown up in the last year. I don't know what has happened. My taste has changed. I wrote myself some notes. You know, I always have some notes here. Let me see what I put. You guys, this right here, it's good. And I see it now. This could be someone's signature scent too. Um, I definitely think it's more of a, um, a winter fall type of fragrance because it is kind of dark. It is heavy. The longevity on all of these fragrances are like beast mode. Okay. I wore them and they did not leave. I told you about the loyal friend that just won't go home, will not leave your side. These fragrances are that girl or that guy, whatever you want to call it. It's that human. Okay. This is a warm floral. Some of the keynotes, keynotes here are jasmine, cashmere wood, ambergris. It's woody. It's sensual. It's very heavy, as I stated. It's very long lasting. You guys, this, if you have not tried Alien, okay, it's worth the whiff. I know I heard some people say it had been reformulated, blah, blah, blah. I have no idea. All I'm saying is that it smells good and it's definitely worth the whiff. I'm going to move on. Another one that I tried. This is Alien Fusion and it's in the red flanker. Okay, so I guess that's a good way to tell them by the flanker color that it was in. And this is not new. This is not new. Okay, the purple one. It's not new. It has been out for some time. But this one here has come out and this is a Fusion. This is Alien Fusion and this is the ED Perfume as well. And this one is really good. I couldn't believe it because I'm like, where have I been? This is more for springtime. So spring is coming. So let me tell you a little bit about the spring ones. This was good too. This has some of my favorite in it. 
and remember I always say that spraying the card is nothing like spraying it on your skin I have already done my wear test on these so I can tell you a little bit about them how they dry down different things like that I've already put my fragrance on for the evening so I don't really want to disturb it with anything else although I'm pretty sure it's getting disturbed however guys this is alien fusion this came out in 2019 this is the ED perfume this is more of a white floral it has some tube rolls fresh spices vanilla it has ginger cinnamon it's an oriental floriental so I'm calling it an oriental floriental because it's an oriental floral and it's got some orange blossom as I stated it is an ED perfume and it is Good. Now, the thing about this that I find so fascinating and so interesting is that they all smell very different, but you know they're all a part of the same DNA because they all smell like that original purple one that I showed you, which is the first thing that I identified the brand by. I don't know what it is, but it has something to it where they all carry the same type of DNA. I find this one to be lighter. I find it to be more spring appropriate. I find it to be prettier, um, easier to wear definitely still long lasting I'm gonna move on but this is definitely worth the whiff I will leave all of these in the description box below so if you're out and you're looking for new spring fragrances this is definitely gonna be a way to go I'm sharing these with you because I felt why not bring a little something different to the channel stepping outside of my comfort zone because I'm not a big Mugler girl but after Muse stole my heart and I was given these samples I felt why not tell you guys about it right okay here's another one I have a favorite too of course you know I do but it's for spring now this one is really good this is very light this is very powdery but it's citrus it's perfect for spring it's softer it's it will be pretty for like a wedding it will be pretty for like a date night like a soft first date you know what I mean this is more cozy it's close to the skin this is more um innocent I would say I think love love petals if you're shopping for Valentine's Day this would be a great way to go as well this is alien this came out in 2018 as I said sometime I just know the years and sometime I don't I think sometime I write the notes they write the years on the note and sometime I don't this is very spring you guys this one here is called alien flora futra okay these names it looks like this and this here is an ED toilette so it should be a little bit lighter some would say right some of the notes in this particular one is citrus it's powdery and has some jasmine amber sandalwood it's a white floral as I stated you guys it's really nice and for it to be a softer side of alien more creamy more luxurious that sandalwood's in there it's really nice now this would be work appropriate yes this one is really pretty this is so worth a whiff okay if you thought like oh my gosh there's no way alien is too heavy but you want something long lasting and really um you know a quality perfume this would be a way to go it's a little lighter as i always say fragrances are definitely subjective so you have to go in and do your wear test and play with it and see how you like it i always recommend sampling before buying let's move on to another one now this one came out and this one is really good as well i believe i talked briefly about this one on the channel before this is angel and and this is ED Toilette as well. And this is a standing star. The beautiful, the bottle is just simply beautiful. Even the color of the little bitty um, sample is good. And you guys, look, I've been wearing this so much, but I had to have enough to save to make sure that I was able to spray it and refresh myself with the scent. So I was able to do the video. But I have been wearing these like crazy. Like, I'm like, and this is a favorite because, of course, it has some patchouli in it. Oh my gosh. Now this is a little heavier, but to me this is sexy. This is a good sexy fragrance. I really like this. It's not as heavy as the original, as the purple one. I'm gonna call them by the colors, okay? It's not as heavy as the purple one, but it still has that same DNA a little bit more stronger than some of the other ones that I've shown today already. And this one here is a spring summer fragrance. It's gonna be, I don't know, Summer, it might be a bit much unless you somewhere and it's cold and it's a summer night and it's no more than 70 degrees. Anything higher than that, I think it's too hot, too sticky. But definitely entering into spring, I think it will be nice. This is one of the ones that you cannot overspray. That patchouli is heavy in here. It, it has some blonde woods, cedar, mandarin, peony. It is, um, it's a very, what would I say, a fruity fresh but it's definitely heavy patchouli, I would definitely say. But it is beautiful. As I stated, this is an ED toilette. It's definitely worth a whiff. Um, 
I would definitely say you're gonna have to like Alien or Mugler fragrances for this one to really, you know, pink your interest. Other than that, it's just a lighter version to me of the purple one, this one. It's just a lighter version. I don't know how, they're totally different. But I just do. It's good though. They're all good. Like I said, beast mode when it comes to longevity. So if you're like, oh my gosh, nothing ever lasts on me. I need something to stand out. Um, try Mugler, Alien, Angel, you know, they last. Okay. Now here is one that I think is amazing. I think it is so perfect and so fitting for spring. This is called Mugler and it's called Fly Away. This is a cologne and this is an ED toilette. It is fresh. It's spicy. It's green. It's citrus. It's grapefruit. The secret is C. It's energizing. It's sparkling. It's modern. It's new age to me. Out of all the ones that I reached for and did wear tests on, this one right here is one that I kept coming back to the opening is so fresh and so bright especially after a long winter where it was snowing and raining and cloudy and you just said okay take all the clouds away and just bring on the sunshine a nice spring beautiful day this is the way to go you can wear this spring you can wear this summer you guys this right here is good good when you spray it immediately you smell nothing but grapefruit. The burst of grapefruit and citrus and green is so prominent in the very beginning of the spray, right upon spraying it. And then it goes into something very nice. This is something that would be like a zing, a cup of coffee, something to start your day. This is definitely work appropriate. You can wear this to the office. I would wear this on a Saturday. I would wear this to brunch. I would wear this on a girl's date. I don't get sexy from it at all. It's not a sexy to me, in my opinion, at all. But it's definitely, like, has a little zing to it. You know what I mean? This would be a cup of orange juice. This would be a cup of grapefruit juice. It's definitely going to get your attention. You know what I mean? It's like one of those. I don't know why I did that with my eyes. But it's like one of those, like, hello, here I am. You know, like, hello. You know, it's definitely worth a whiff. This, like I said, would be perfect for spring, summer. It's very energizing. It's sparkling it's more of a modern day you know fragrance to me out of all those those would be heavy a lot heavier than these they would be a lot of gray skies clouds but that would be like rolling all that away and then you would get this one so out of all the ones but you have to like grapefruit and you have to like citrus out of all the ones that i have just told you about that are all worth the whiff i believe this one is gonna do fabulous for the season approaching ahead which is spring and summer this is gonna do very nice maybe not a full size bottle this none of these i don't think i would mm, i don't know i don't think any of these today how i feel right now today that i would purchase a full size bottle maybe a very small bottle you know just a you know 30 mil or something like that or maybe even a roller ball would be sufficient something like that i don't like a roller ball though i like a roller spray or I like a spray bottle but in the roller ball size you get what i'm saying that's what i would do you guys i just wanted to stop by stop by i just wanted to take a few moments to stop by and let you know about these new fragrances some are old fragrances they're new all to me because like i said i was very new to this brand last year at this time if you would ask me anything i would have said no to every single mugler or alien fragrance known but today my mind has changed my palette has changed and i would be open to taking a full size uh rollerball bottle size of any of these and you know having it in my collection because it's nice and i believe that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video any questions leave it down in the comment section below i would do my best to answer it if i have the answer of course and if you like these worth the whiff you know because sometimes i get samples like this all the time and i'm like what am i going to do with them after i use them you know maybe i'll just start telling you guys about them. not every time i get samples do i ever go out and buy it because sometimes i just don't love it that much or sometimes i'll just buy like a very small roller bottle but i definitely like to let you guys know and since spring and summer are approaching I thought those would be fitting to share with you on the channel thank you so much for your time I appreciate you being here thanks so much for stopping by if you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you really like the vibe go ahead and hit the subscribe button that way you'll be sure to never miss a video all you have to do is ring the bell until next time guys you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous thanks for watching guys bye